Welcome back to Let's Play Undertale Live and Blind with Spastik, Nick Morgan, and Frisk. And we're going to talk to Gerson. Well, I couldn't go on, but I don't know. It's just going on for so long. <laughs> I knew you could do it. Fluffy buns. Fluffy why? buns. Why? Okay, okay. I remember. I remember it clearly now. I can't remember the voice of this guy. Hold on. Uh, there was a monthly address at the castle, and the cream was given her part in the current events. After finishing her update, she moved and passed the microphone to the king. However, she didn't realize a microphone was still sitting in her hands, and she said, Your turn, Fluffy Buns. <laughs> the audience burst into laughter. Realizing what she had just said, she started laughing too. After a few moments, the king held up his arms. The crowd blew silent. He learned toward the microphone expression, stern. Dear citizens, thank you for coming here today. I, King Fluffy Buns, <laughs> and the rest is history. Is Asgora Goat? <laughs> eh? Goat? Actually, that reminds me. Toriel once wore a flower patterned Moo Moo. Folk kept saying how nice Moo Moo to her, saying nice Moo Moo to her, but she kept thinking they were calling her a cow. So she never wore it again. What was the question again? Oh, right. Asgore. He's a real interesting type of monster. The strongest type of all. We call them boss monsters. When they have an offspring, the soul power of the parents flows into the child, causing the child to grow as their parents age. But Asgore doesn't have a child, so he's been stuck at the same age, and probably will be forever. Huh? What if the child is a human? What? Nah, that wouldn't work. So if Asgore is your father, he'll definitely outlive you. Asgore and Toriel. Oh yeah, of course. Toriel was queen, and Asgore was the king. It was tragic when she left. Since everyone there knew she was really the brains behind the throne. But it was also just a teensy, teensy bit relieving, you know? Those two were really insufferable together. Nuzzling noses, being all cute and cuddly in public, embarrassing their children. They were so sweet it made me sick. Thank God those days are over. And about Undyne? Undyne? She's really come a long way since she was a little urchin. I used to be a hero myself back in the old days. Gerson, the Hammer of Justice. When she was younger, Undyne would follow me around watch me beat up bad guys. Sometimes she'd even try to help. Though, most of the time, the folks to attack weren't bad guys. It'd be the mailman or something like that. Anywho, I appreciated it. <laughs> be careful out there, kid. All right, it's Metaton's house. Oh, it's an abstinence. Well, actually, let's see. What do these guys have to say? Nail bought a hat. <laughs> the housing market will probably crash now. But you know, home is where the heart is. Snail Snail, you've reached the end of your extensive journey. Snail Snail, what a long trip. Remember to stretch your muscles. It's a snail. You wonder if Toriel has seen it. Hey, Metaton. There you are, Frisk Darling. Feast your eyes. Dr. Alfie's completed my wonderful new body. Ooh, and what end did you hear? The barrier's open! I can't wait to see the sun. Greatest spotlight of all. Oh yes, I suppose I should thank you too, darling. Before fighting you, I had... forgotten how fun it was to perform with others. So I've been searching for hot talents to fill up my upcoming throat. So far, Shiren's agreed to be my backup singer. And Napsta Blue here will be my sound mixer. The three of us performing together. It really feels overdue, doesn't it? Did you say more? Oh. Can you help me with something? What kind of merchandise do you think humans would want to buy? 
I've thought of a few ideas so far. Buttons, with my face. Stickers, with my face. CDs, with my face. Posters, with my face. T-shirts, with my face. Underwear, with my face. <laughs> and plush dolls of Toriel. <laughs> that would sell. <laughs> but, but you know, my fi with my face instead of hers. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Actually, fun fact, they do sell Toriel plushies, but they do sell Metaton uh, stickers with his face on it. Oh my god. And buttons with his face on it. Oh my god! <laughs> so, what do you, so what do you think? A yes or no <laughs> prompt was not provided. <laughs> <laughs> Fabulous! I completely agree. <laughs> wow, okay. Yeah, apparently uh, Frisk uh, didn't want, uh, after hearing that, they didn't want us having input. Oh, Metaton. I'm a huge fan. Oh, hi! Human, I'll never forget when you cheered me on. When I was pretending to sleep. No one had ever had so much faith in my fake sleep. <laughs> uh, also, this is awkward, but... What's your name? Everyone seems to know it now, except me. Yeah, right? How did that happen? Seems like I've been missing out lately. I was just sitting at home, listening to my tunes. There was a flash of light outside my window. I saw the snails in the farm disappear. Then I heard a knock at the door. The flash of light wanted to come in. I could- What?! Shit! <laughs> <laughs> I, I closed the blinds. Now everyone knows your name except for me. Frisk. Okay, I won't forget it. Let's see. Talk to them more than once. Alright. Your name? Frisk. I didn't forget. Hmm. <laughs> because I cried the letters into my hand. Let's see. Oh no, the letters in my hand are joining together. Oh no, now I'm gonna forget your name. Oh no, I'm trying to cry more tears into my hand. Oh no, the tears are all forming a big pile. Oh no, your name's getting really long. Let's see. All right. Okay, it's more of the same. All right, I think you can talk to them three times and they're out of dialogue. Let's see. So, Oh, Frisk, why don't you go see how Alphys is doing? Since the flash of light, he's been working hard instead of being right. Haha, <laughs> about time, huh? Alright, yeah. Talk to him. Once we get to the end, talk to everyone a second, a third time. Alright. Let's see. Luckily, we're not very far. I think this might be the very last video, hopefully. Can we get Metaton's face with Metaton's face on it? Hmm. <laughs> Metatonception. Oh, they know your name because they were all in Asriel and guess and I guess one of the things here. That makes sense, except for Naps Luke, apparently. Makes sense, yeah. What's inside an acorn? Ah, oh, I missed the I think you never said that one before. Well Naps the Blukes are uh, a ghost. So Asriel like, can't really absorb them. I guess you could say that. Although maybe it's because he just shut the blinds on the light. And that too. <laughs> I'll check Toriel's phone again. Oh, right. Excuse me. I did not mean to write sin uh, sincerely. I meant to write sincerely. It is difficult to use this with large hands. Perhaps I should ask Sans to transcribe for me. Oh, whoops. Look at it again at some point, too. That might not be the end of her text. Sans will be typing to you from now on. Great. <laughs> Can't imagine what that's gonna happen. It's gonna happen there. Ah! Time you change rooms, apparently. Alright, Toriel's phone. Send you a message. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Hey, Chris, it's Toriel! I just baked 100. Th th 1 million pies. <laughs> Make sure to brush your teeth before crossing the street, Chris. <laughs> oh my god, Sam. Or else sent you a message. I did not say any of that. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings, this is Sans. I love my brother very much. Help, I'm... Oh, your turn. Help, I'm being slandered. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Okay. This is Sans. Frisk, did you know that I love to get owned? I also think Toriel is good and... Excuse me. <laughs> this is great. Toriel sang a message video. titled Cat Video. Inside, she meticulously describes a video where she saw of a small white animal. There is no link or attachment to watch it. Oh, fuck. Oh, what a tease. Again. Toriel sent you a message. Four. Send, uh, send this, though. Send this to someone you care about, or a skeleton that will will rattle his bones at you. Hmm. <laughs> great. There's a chain letter. What's this getting great? <laughs> Dear Frisk, getting tired. Thought you might enjoy this. It's an ASCII art of a snail. <laughs> It's a lot longer than I remember. Upstairs. We're stopping to read all of our things, too. Right, here we are. Dear Frisk, Undyne and Papyrus want to cook something together with me. Sans is telling me that they are excellent chefs. Oh my god, no! <laughs> I'm excited. Maybe you're lucky. You can have some. Yeah, assuming you don't explode. Well, maybe if we're lucky. So, I suggest walking back and forth through a room so we get all of them. Alright. Dear Frisk, if Sans and I started a band, do you know what we would call it? Dreamer and Femur, LOL. P.S. That is only a joke. Do not refer to me as Dreamer. <laughs> Dear Frisk, Undyne is very strong. Papyrus made a bet with her that she could not lift everyone here, uh, here up. She could. The only trouble is that she did not know how to put everyone down. <laughs> Dear Frisk, Alphys is telling me some of the interesting facts about the human world. Quite a few of them are wrong, though. Frisk, you did not tell her anything funny, did you? Hmm. Let's see. Dear Frisk, I heard that using the computer for too long is bad for you. However, I have not seen you use a computer at all. You must be very healthy. How nice! Ow, that's, that's a lot. That's a leak of water. Dear Frisk, I think I may have to turn off the phone for now. Your friends are all very lovely people. I think I'll spend this time getting to know them better. Be good, all right? That Sincerely, might... Toriel. That might mean it's the last message. Let's check one more time. Let's see, Toriel's not sent any more messages. Okay, all right. so that's probably the last one. Next cool. stop, the surface. <laughs> Elevator. All right. Not let you pick that this time. Thank you, Porygon. Holy crap, I just realized something. Porygon is guiding me, guiding Frisk. Oh my god! Friskception! Wow. Put <laughs> that sound effect in, please. You need to put that sound effect in. I can supply it if oh. you need it. Now that I can do MMD stuff, I ought to make an image of, fr of uh, Frisk being controlled by Kara being controlled by someone else. I told him to talk to everyone again. Good god. Stop reminding me to talk okay, to Okay, here we go. Talk to everyone a third time. Let's see. Yes. Okay. <coughs> Frisk, how about you go look around before we all go? Oh, yeah, we've already heard this one. Good bad. Sadness. Sorry. I don't have time to talk, Frisk. Oh, yeah, we've already went through this one, too. Oh, I guess they are all have a third thing to say. Okay. Frisk, why don't you take a walk around the world? Frisk, why don't you fly? It's faster. Yeah, Frisk, why don't you fly? Um, flying sounds a little dangerous. But they can't fly. Not with that attitude! Oh my god! Chris, take a hike. Hiking is good for your bones! <laughs> okay, we already did that one. Hey, Frisk, why don't you go say hi to Napstablook? Oh, tell them I said hi too. Okay, we already did that. And did apparently that. this line is supposed to be really funny. I sure am excited to finally use the human internet. I bet they have all sorts of things under my knife. Watch. Oh man! We're gonna be able to watch anime online? Of course, Undyne. What did you think? What do you think we've been fighting for all along? <laughs> yeah. What do you? Whoops. Jinx! I knew you were gonna make that joke. 
Wait, wait, Alphys. I didn't know you knew Sans. Ooh. Huh? Well, I... Doesn't everybody? <laughs> Who the hell is Sans? Who the heck is Sans? Toriel? Alright, she's just suggesting to find me at a time if we did. Okay. And ask or I guess one more time. Oh, Frisk. If you're not busy, on nice days you should have a walk around and have a good time. That's important. Okay. I think that's it then. Alright. Look at that. Alright, we're here for the here I'm time for the ending. Alright. Here we go. If you leave here, the adventure will really be over. Your friends will follow you to the out of the underground. It's time to go. I'm ready. Oh my. Isn't it beautiful, everyone? Wow, it's even better than on TV. Way better. Better than I ever imagined. Frisk, you live with this? The sunlight's so nice, and the air's so fresh. I really feel alive! Hey, Sans! What's that giant ball? We call that the sun, the virus. I just... my friend. Okay. That's the sun? Wowee! I can't believe I'm finally meeting the sun! <laughs> I could stand here and watch this for hours. Yes, it is beautiful, is it not? But we should really think about what comes next. Oh, right. Everyone, this is the beginning of a bright new future. An era of peace between humans and monsters. Brisk? I have something to ask of you. Will you act as our ambassador to the humans? Sure. Yeah, Frisk will be the best ambassador. And I, the Great Papyrus, will be the best mascot. <laughs> I'll go make a good first impression. That you will, Papyrus. <laughs> well, someone's gotta keep him from get re getting in trouble. See you guys. There Clearly you it's not you, Sans. Where are you going? He's taking a shortcut. Man, do I have to do everything? Papyrus, wait! Hey, Undyne, wait up! Whoops. Uh, should I do something? Stare. Oh, gotta go. Seems everyone's quite eager to set off. Frisk, you came from this world, right? So you must have a place to return to, do you not? What will you do now? Well, Frisk... It's like I told you back in the lab, once you finish this all... You get your life back. I can't ask you to live your, uh, your life for me, so... My brother's stuck as a flower, my parents have separated... But you did something I couldn't do. You unsealed the barrier and without killing anyone. And the best part was, it wasn't my determination that saved everyone. It was yours. Frisk, we made a great team. But you get your freedom now. Ah. I see. Well... I hope that I'm not keeping you.
Frisk. See you around. Don't worry. They're the ambassador to the monsters now. All right, Baz, here are the real credits. And we get an enemy roll call. Professional Frog. Free for every day. <laughs> Backup Dancer. Reformed Bully. Okay, it's Hemi Made Lukes. Popular Nutritionist. Casually enjoys life. It's a remix, it sounds like. Spooky DJ, Spooky that's DJ. the blue. It is. The credits are special. There's a hat! Oh, yay! Papyrus finally gets to drive down a long highway! Huh. <laughs> yeah, on that car! Look at that bike! Hmm. Darren's! How dare you drive faster than my cool car! <laughs> Semi-successful comedian. I forget what the yellow words mean. Ah, shoot. It means something. Has his own seeing eye dog. Christmas display. <laughs> By Toby question mark? Oh, sparing monsters the correct way. Apparently we didn't do ice caps correctly. Alright. Unfortunate. Finally oh, knows well. Nuzzle Champion number one now that uh, Tori and uh Asgore split up. Found a living owner, excited by life's changes. Bring it in, guys. Hey, it's Onion Son. Yeah, it's Onion Son. You know, I it froze for me. I can't see it anymore. Oh, there it is. Okay. Undyne finally kissed Alphys. <laughs> Onion Son. Oh, we probably could have talked to Onion Son. And yet, the vlog. Oh well. It would have been interesting. Let's see, old big Aaron by Temi reluctantly. Paranormal investigator, ideal like life on the beach. Washua, inspired by Omo Cat, Temi by Temi. Temi! Never would have guessed! Legendary janitor, mad dummy, calm down just a bit. Hey, there's a Temi in the audience. Metaton by Toby. Huh, <laughs> and Burger Pants is a bush. <laughs> I feel sad that I don't get to voice Metaton as, as Claptrap anymore, that was fun. And Death by Glamour is still one of my favorite songs from this. And the fight, also. Uh, you guys might want to look up... Uh, oh, soon dare play. Finally confesses. What? I don't. Encouraging space healer. Uh, <laughs> look up uh, Metaton at Battle Animatic. Let's see. Candle in the world's brightest birthday cake. Inspire success with a new bakery. Royal Guards, use your imagination. But yeah, the uh, Metaton Animatic battle scene, it is amazing. It's the whole fight animated with all the moves. Final Frog, it, giving a life no meaning. Whimslot, the final, uh, the long battle is finally ending. Stigmatism, domineering glasses seller. You know, I didn't notice that Burger Pants is actually in the background on stage. As a bush. <laughs> Night Knights, <laughs> taking a well-deserved nap. Magic, street magician, the amalgamates, living with their families. Even scary monsters need love. That's kind of the point of Undertale, after all. Pretty much. Hey, Asgore Trim Papyrus is Smile that was said at some point in the game. Yep. Papyrus wanted that to happen, that's right. Oh, hey, Asgore and Toriel were at the school. And Toriel, Toriel finally became a teacher. Toriel's a school teacher. It all started so darkly because we hated humanity and we ended up saving everyone. Everyone except, well, Azrael's stuck as a flower, unfortunately, but hey, at least everyone else got the happy ending. Yeah. Oh, crap. Honestly, I can't read the dialogue right now. Something happened with the screen share, so... Do you want to, like, turn it off and turn it back on? Okay, because it just got a little bit interesting. <laughs> yeah, try doing that. Maybe it'll work again. Can you see it now? Yes, it's working. All right. <laughs> Did you really think it was over? What is it this time, bro? I mean, 
We haven't even done the special thanks yet. Okay, this is what I get for doing the scary face on you. Ready? Let's end all this for good. All right, dodge the credits, Spaz! Oh, man. Okay, so it looks like Azrael and Kara technically get a somewhat happy ending if they're together in non-existence together. Okay, just stand still. Get hopes and dreams one more time, and save the save the world. Hey, I saw a, Ren a Renosuke on there. Is that JD Reisner, the guy behind the Yacht Rock that funded this? Oh, you got hit! No, you're doing pretty good for a while. I, I kind of want to read the uh, these names. They're all the, I believe they're all Kickstarter backers. Yeah. I do know Schmorky was a supporter of this game, so I'm tempted to find his name in this bunch of names. Have fun with that. <laughs> right. For those that don't know, Schmorky is an animator for Something Awful. He does downright amazing animations for the Flash Hub. He's behind some of my know, favorite I, cartoons I don't know how like. This pinwheel. What was that? I don't know how you're supposed to ride this pinwheel. You yes. get something special if you dodge everything. I will never do it. He's got to beat the whole pacifist run to get here. I think you can, like, reload your save without finishing, but I'm not entirely sure. Okay. I just, that's just a guess. God, these cards are getting bigger and bigger. Touch credits. Let's see. Alright, you get the ones you touched. It'd be weird if you touch the one you're looking for. Yeah. I saw Eric's boot. What the hell credit is that? <laughs> Thanks to friends and family for supporting the Undertale theme. Thanks for you to play her from the bottom of our hearts. Without you, none of this would be possible. Good night. And her soul faded away. Not yet. The end. Oh, hey, that's the song from the, uh, the statue. So I guess I escape? Keep going. Press a button. Okay, I'm pressing Z, I'm pressing X. I don't know. Something's supposed to happen. Do we just wait? Yeah, I'll wait for the music to finish, I guess. Alright, in the meantime, I guess I will give my review. That was amazing! The storyline is downright amazing. The whole postmodernist metafiction mechanics. <coughs> oh, hi, Dougie. Dog. Everything about this game is amazing. The music, the characters, the humor, the drama, the sadness. Like, this is how you make a game. It doesn't have, like, fancy graphics. It doesn't have voice acting, it's just good old-fashioned, this is a great RPG game. Okay, I guess you may have to close the game now. Okay, does anything else happen when you reopen it? Yes, reopen it. Okay, quitting. And <coughs> let's reopen Undertale and see what happens. Reopening, Undertale is loading up. Share screens. It's not quite just on just yet. Here we go. There's Flowey. This is important. Hi. Hey, Azrael. Seems as if everyone is perfectly happy. This is Flowey, by the way. So he's still soulless. I still <coughs> want to call him Azrael, though. Go ahead. Okay. Monsters have returned to the surface. Peace and prosperity will rule across the land. Take a deep breath. There's nothing left to worry about. Well, there is one thing. One last threat. One being with the power to erase everything. 
everything everyone's worked so hard for. <clears throat> you know who I'm talking about, don't you? Me, right, Asriel? That's right. I'm talking about you. Mm-hmm. You still have the power to reset everything. Toriel, Sans, Adsgore, Alphys, Papyrus, Undyne. If you so choose, everyone will be ripped from this timeline and sent back before all this ever happened. Nobody will remember every anything. You'll be able to do whatever you want. That power. I know that power. That's the power you were fighting to stop, wasn't it? Power that I wanted to use. But now, the idea of resetting everything. I... I don't think I could do it all again. Not after that. So please... Just let them go. Let Frisk be happy. Let Frisk live their life. But... If I can't change your mind... If you do end up erasing everything... You have to erase my memories, too. I'm sorry. You've probably heard this a hundred times already, haven't you? Well, that's all. See you later. Spaz. Oh! I don't remember him saying that. Honestly, Spaz theory makes the most sense. So yeah, at this- go to the main menu. Alright. No, okay. At this point, you have- you now have the option for a true reset. And by true reset, I mean everything. As if you had just bought the game- well, pretty much. As if you've just bought the game, even Flowey will forget everything, and he'll do the thing, same I'm gonna try and kill you spiel as he did in the beginning. Everything will be the same. That's it. There it is. The option for true reset is there. Should you want it, you spent 736 hours in this game. What? Minutes in this game, not hours. That'd be insane. <laughs> yes. But for now, as promised, there we go. Frisk gets so, their yes. happy ending. Good job, Spaz. Thanks, Porygon, right. and thanks for getting me the game, and this, thanks for the soundtrack. This was the most amazing freaking game I have ever played. Now, I want to say that there are downsides. I still think the game's too easy. I would like it, I would have liked it better if the, fi if the final true fastest fight was not something you couldn't lose. I thought, would, I thought it would make it more, um, uh, climactic, I guess. I if think it would be. Something to lose there. I think it'd be better if, uh, f yeah, Frisk could only lose after like he gets to the second form or something, or like at some point where like after a while it gets to the point where he can't lose. I want an Undertale hard mode. That's what I want, and technically there is an Undertale hard mode. Ooh. But it's a joke. Okay. <laughs> it only it only goes to the end of the ruins, but it is a hard mode. It's a glimmer of what. I wish Toby Fox would actually make completely, but I think he stated he doesn't have much interest in it and would prefer to move on from Undertale. Okay. So, I don't think it's happening. The hard mode is unlocked by putting Frisk as your player character's name, or rather, as your name. That will unlock hard mode, where it will go up into the ruins, um, and once you beat Toriel, that's the end of it. I don't think Toriel actually changes much, and neither does Naps to Luke, if I recall. Just the enemies. Okay. It's a joke, though. There's a whole big thing with the annoying dog saying, well, this is the end. The real hard part about hard mode is accepting that it's over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I wish this game was a bit harder, but I do think... To but that's because I'm a bullet hell person. This It didn't challenge me terribly much. But um, Tor I think Toby Fox hit the difficulty right on the mark for a large audience, for a wide audience, and that's really good. Yeah. And even... And even then, you also have the Tem armor in case you really can't do any bull hell stuff. Yep. yep. So, I do think it was a very masterfully made game. Yep. It's not perfect, but it's pretty damn close. Give hard mode, please. What was that? <laughs> Give hard mode, please. Well, if I do do it again, I am tempted to do a uh, 
a partial genocide, but not for a long time. And if I do, it's I'm going to ham it up. I'm just going to just ride mm. home the whole evil oh, Kara that character. Sounds that sounds fun. And remember, as meta as the game likes to be, it's still a game. So go wild. It's yes. not like you're literally toying with people's lives as much as the game would like you think that. Yep. That's kind of the thing that Flowey talked about. He lost his emotions, but... There's also an interesting lesson in there well, that... See, Flower doesn't have as much of an excuse as you do, because he's in the universe. These people are real him. So. Yeah. There you go. Well, <laughs> technically, in high school I was diagnosed with antisocial disorder, but that was a long time ago, but... Hmm. Well, interestingly enough, do you have any questions about the storyline? Any plot-related things that haven't been resolved? I think the game did a pretty succinct job of doing all of that. Uh, let's see. You can gain a little bit more insight from the genocide route, because Flowey has more things to say there. Well, but it's not too much more. You can infer most of what he says from what, from what you've learned already. I've heard people talk about Gaster in the chats, and I don't okay, believe um, I've... Okay, Gaster is not something the game directly references. Um, information about him is hidden in... has been found by data miners. That's how you find him. All right. Um... Someone else could definitely explain to you more about Gaster. I don't know. There are tons of theories. He's not something that anyone knows for sure. All right. That's also, sure. everyone in the chat is, let's see, Wet Harmonica says, hashtag we want it hard. Uh, and Toby Vita says, Undertale hard mode is just really, really short. But Tricky St St Stick Steak says, give hard mode. And Toby says, Undertale, uh, no, uh, who, let's see. Anonymous12051 says, Dude, if you do genocide, it'll ruin everything you just said. Oh, what do you mean? Well, I told you, if you finish if you finish gen genocide, you've really ruined everything. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because you basically destroy the game, and uh, Frisk basically has to sell their soul permanently. Yep. I mean, it's undone by deleting a file on your in your computer, but that's that's really meta. <laughs> yes. But this has been uh, I, I guess I can probably ask more questions later in the chat and such, but I, that's pretty much oh yeah, Sans. That's bad take. You need to know how to do to to know how to do gaster things, you need to know about hex hacking and coding. Tricky six during genocide is only great because you're evil. Like I have repeatedly said. That's why I named my file after you. Hmm. <laughs> But let's see, uh, what was I saying? I said, uh, what was I last? Oh yeah, Sans. Sans is interesting because we never really get to know much about him in the pacifist run. I'll tell you one, I'll tell you what you missed by Sans. There was a secret thing you could have done to make Sans give you the key to his room. And in the key to his room, you find something else that allowed you to go to another inaccessible area where you find a number of things. You can find more about this on the wiki. I'm going to give you this abridged version. You can find... A number of things, including a broken machine behind a curtain. And a picture of Sans with a bunch of people you don't recognize. Huh. So we don't really get like infer a... That as you want, infer that as you want, but it's strongly inferred that Sans is a time traveler of some variety. And much like the Mother Why, series... Why, skeleton, I have no clue. Game Theory had an episode about it, but there are a lot of flaws with that theory, so I don't think it's completely correct at all. All right. But if Azrael is using Flowey as a vessel, we were using Frisk as a vessel, then chances are somebody's using, well, whoever claims he is Sans is using that skeleton as a vessel, well, that's my guess. Uh, that's an interesting theory. Um, you do learn more about, a little bit more about Sans during his fight in the genocide run, but not too much more. Yeah. But I think it's nice that Sans is mysterious, like... In the movie Animal House, you have the character D Day, who is like the. On the badge, yeah, but I don't. I mean, there's some R Mark badge you don't recognize also there. I guess I'll mention that here. But I was saying, in Animal House, there's a character. Like, it might sound like a bit of a. Like, I'm kind of going off a wild beaten path here, but there's a character in Animal House, D Day, who's like this wild biker guy, and he tells all these great jokes, and in the end, it says, Whereabouts Unknown in the epilogue. But that's what I like about him, is that he's hilarious, he's mysterious, and that's all he has to be. Sans is kind of the same way. He's funny, he's mysterious, he's the kind of person that the spy wants uh, the scout to seduce. 
Oh, I'm pouring to the front. Andreas Ghost says, By the way, if you beat the game True Pass for several times, Flowey gets confused as to why you keep playing the True Fast and got and if you have attachment to code which he finds weird. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we've been going on for forty minutes now. I think that's about everything there is. I think so. There's nothing further you have to ask? I can't think of anything that wasn't explained. I can't think of anything either. Just uh, I, might, I might figure something out later, but anyway. But Porgon, thanks for joining me on this journey and letting me it's do been, this journey to begin with. It's been an immense pleasure. Oh yes, and thanks for doing the voices and everything too. Ah, it's been an even more immense pleasure. Oh yes, again, everyone said this the already, and I'll keep. Is my name is Papyrus. Okay, I'm not gonna do that. We we have right. to close this. We have to close it with that. Okay, fine. Let me go get the song. Uh, As everyone said it. already, you do an amazing papyrus. What's it called again? I forgot. A papyrus makes a mixtape. Okay, there we go. Let's Thank see if you. I can sync um, it up. You can post, I guess, if you want. Ready for the sands? Well, I don't think anyone's ready for prepare, prepare that. I don't think anyone's prepared for this. Shut up, sands! You just can't understand. Hans, attention monsters! My name is Papyrus, I'm a skeleton made with magic bones and lots of cool. If you need proof, then look at my biceps, cause they're wearing sunglasses and that clearly means I rule. My cooking skills unrivaled when it comes to spaghetti, it sauce, and pasta noodles extra long. And not a single creature has survived this dish. But Frist just walked right past it. And don't interrupt my song! It takes a special, it takes a special kind of perfection just to melt when I have been without him having time. And that's why Undyne wants me in the Royal Guard. But aren't you still in training? Hey, that doesn't mean I lied. So if you think that we can be pals and you had better be performance of fun. Unless, do, 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 unless you're human, do, do, then I'm afraid you'll be do, 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 captured. But you kind of made friends with one. Yes. What? I need to get... Oh. Here, let me get you the, uh... I haven't, I haven't. Sorry. I posted it in the chat. Dance! What? Stop playing... I, uh, play my life with incidental music lyrics. I thought they sounded yeah. pretty good. And I think they sounded like not papyrus! Which is the worst kind of sound for me. Oh, well, sorry. It's okay, Sans. I already forgive you. Come on, let's go get some ice cream. Huh, is the PC's actually on fire right now. I think that's the first time he's ever successfully cooked something. You're officially unforgiven, Sans! Good night, everyone! <laughs>